This segment is sponsored by NextGen MDX. As we move further into winter, we also move further into flu season. There's been a lot of speculation as to what this year is going to be like. Dr. Brittany Carpenter is a medical science liaison who specializes in pathogen testing at NextGen. And she is here with a look ahead at flu and other timely health concerns. Hi, Dr. Carpenter. Hi there. Okay, so now that we're in the beginning of this flu season, what are preliminary numbers for the flu and perhaps some other respiratory illnesses looking like right now? Yeah, so we saw an early emergence of respiratory syncytial virus or RSV. That's that virus that can really impact little kids or older individuals and be really dangerous. And then flu numbers are creeping up on us. We're seeing an increase in those Southern states and it's not if, it's when it comes to Michigan, right? We did see a flu outbreak at the University of Michigan, so we want to make sure that we're prepared for that. Yikes. Okay. Sounds concerning. Tell me about, you know, what steps that people can take to avoid or protect themselves from these various respiratory illnesses that are out there right now. Yeah, there's a couple different things you can do. The most important is to get vaccinated for both COVID-19 and for the flu. But if you feel sick, you know, there's a lot of overlapping symptoms between these different respiratory viruses. You don't know what you have, right? So if you think you may be sick or if you came into contact with someone with COVID, you know, stay away from your grandparents, stay away from people that may get really sick. And then most importantly, get tested. Um, and that's where NextGen really comes in. Yeah. In fact, you're offering an interesting, a new kind of a test opportunity for folks, right? That's right. So we, of course, have our COVID-19 only testing, but we also will have what's called COVID plus, and that's going to include RSV and also the flu. So you'll know, hey, do I need to quarantine? Do I need to get Tamiflu? You know, or do I just need to stay away from those little kids? But then we also have an even better option. So if you're someone like me and you're like, you know, a negative COVID and flu test isn't enough, I want to know exactly what I have. We have what's called the respiratory pathogen panel. And it's going to give you a diagnosis 10 times more often than COVID testing alone. So again, that's the resp respiratory pathogen panel. It's going to give you an answer. Mm. And is, am I right to understand that that is only available in your Grand Rapids location? That's right. The respiratory pathogen panel is only available in the Grand Rapids location, but you can still get COVID only or COVID plus in Grand Rapids or Holland. And I think too, that you're still offering the drive up testing, right? That's right. At our Grand Rapids location, you don't even have to get out of your car. We encourage you not to. We have some tents. You can just pull up underneath those. You don't need an appointment, but of course you can make one online and that's going to kind of guarantee that time slot. But again, just pull up. Someone will come to you. You can, you know, swab yourself. It's super easy and that's all you have to do. Easy as can be. The Grand Rapids COVID testing site is located at 3233 Alpine Avenue Northwest, Suite B, and you can see the listing of daily hours there on your screen. For more information, visit nextgenmdx.com. That's N-X-G-E-N-M-D-X.com. Thank you so much, Dr. Carpenter. Thank you for having me. Stay safe. Yes.